Dame Dash is broke, broke. We have found that out over the last few days. There was supposed to be an auction of his one third of Rockefeller Records. It has been postponed because of new information that he owes $8.7 million in back taxes. He also owes over $150,000 in back child support in the state of New York. That is in addition to what caused the forced act forced auction which was the civil judgment where he owes an individual over eight hundred thousand dollars how did we get here all right let's back up rockefeller records it started with three people's bigs dame jay-z things didn't work out rockefeller records basically dissolved the company went on but there was no other music acts coming out of there there were no other artists they were able to dissolve each and every other musical catalog except for reasonable doubt they were not able to agree on that so rockefeller records only primary asset is reasonable doubt album that is it that is the only revenue stream so when you talk about somebody not having money and forcing them to have an auction you make them sell their only asset that's making the most money which is the streaming of reasonable doubt that's how we got here point blank period so there was an individual with dame that had a film partnership it didn't work out he decided to sue dame dame did not have the money to afford lawyers so he lost the judgment they awarded the plaintiff over eight hundred thousand dollars and again him attempting to get his money recoup his money has forced the court to say damn you need to sell your one-third in rockefeller records that's how we got here the date was set <clears throat> august 29th there was a lot of momentum going into this date i thought about going to new york because i thought it was historical the minimum bid was 1.2 million dollars so I was about to say, let me just be real quick and and that and, and get out the way because I'm sure most people would want to run that up. But then all these all these things kept happening two weeks beforehand, a week beforehand, where Jay Z's lawyers come out and say, look, you can bid on this, but it's only for this album, and that album converts back to Jay Z 100% in like six years. So this is really going to be a a you're going to be a minority partner in this one project that we won't let you do anything with. So buyer beware that drastically dips the value of, of reasonable doubt, but some people were still wanting it. Then Dame dash releases a video saying, you know, I've been hearing a lot of bids, but if you really want the bag, you're going to have to bring $10 million plus you bring $10 million plus you get a Rockefeller chain. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I never thought about it. But, you know, it was just in the back of my mind. I guess he knows people that are bidding or going to bid at that level. Didn't think much of it. Then this comes out because they postpone it. And then they start listing how much he actually owes and how destitute he really is. And you add it all up and it's like, damn, that's over $10 million. So just to make him square and to make all his legal obligations go away, he needs over $10 million. God damn, Dane. Shit. You were looked at as a mogul. You're always online talking about you got to be a boss. You got to invest in your dreams. No, bro. No, you, you talk about investing in your dreams and now you broke because of that. No, you can't invest to where you're destitute. Investing is is a third of your income. Okay, that's that's what it's supposed to be and you pissed all of that away And I mean I get it. It happens people have lost money like that before but it is it is just unfortunate And you hadn't kept it real because this is the first time the court have found out about it Everybody's like what is going on? You're out here faking faking the funk and I'm not saying it's all your fault because the things with Rockefeller that that you know how it shaked out however many years ago may have put you on the wrong path but you got to adapt you got to pivot if you really want to be a boss that's how you got to do things anyways just an unfortunate situation I want to read you some quotes before we get up out of here the auction is ran by the plaintiff's attorney it's funny enough his name is Chris Brown they found out about the new information with it being delayed and he quote said in a new statement it is a massive nature of Mr. Dash's delinquency defies logic. He had no idea he owed that much money. Quote unquote, what is clear is that Mr. Damon Dash is allergic to responsibility. 
I'm more interested in learning if New York State will file tax evasion charges against him or if he will be arrested at the upcoming auction. That is what I want to find out, just my opinion. That is crazy. This man could be going to jail. I would imagine, yo, Tim over $10 million in back taxes. You know you didn't pay them taxes. You didn't know you didn't pay that child support. Yeah, I'm assuming you would go to jail. So this man could be in jail, destitute, and they kind of undervalued what the, the auction bid may be. They may only get two, three million out of that. And they got to bust that down with New York State, child support, and the man that with the judgment. So it's, it's over. It is over, over. Unless this man, some miraculous person comes in with a $15 million bid. Dog, it is destitute. It's over. This man may be going to jail, according to, to Mr. Brown. Just damn unfortunate turn of events.